Lions are powerful predators known as the king of the jungle, and they often and successfully prey on creatures that are much larger than them. However, in the animal kingdom, not everything is as simple as it looks, and many of the lion's preys can put up a pretty decent fight, and some others are nothing short of a worthy adversary for the mighty lion. From the smallest of adversaries you will have ever thought of to a group of very angry ladies, here are 20 animals that made a lion's face like this. Number 20. Zebra Now, if I told you that a zebra can severely hurt a lion, you'll probably think I'm crazy, right? I mean, a lion is powerful, strong, has massive teeth and claws, and what does the zebra have aside from cool-looking stripes? But, in fact, there are many recorded cases of zebras not only surviving a lion's attack, but also killing the lions. For starters, zebras always run in zigzag from side to side when chased. They are fast runners, just like horses. Now, think about a horse kick, multiply it by about 10, and you'll get an idea of how a zebra can be deadly. A zebra kick can easily break a lion's jaw, and a kick to the head is lethal. Many lions lose their lives this way. If a lion ends up with a broken jaw, it will not be able to hunt or feed itself, and it'll eventually die of starvation. A very slow and agonizing death. That's why, in the vast lands of the Serengeti, a lion needs to be very smart in its use of the vegetation, land formation, and tactics when targeting a prey, especially a zebra. Furthermore, zebras are animals with lateral eyes, which means that they have a range of vision of more than 350 degrees and can therefore see a lion attack coming almost every single time. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Giraffe Giraffes are very peculiar looking with their comically long legs and neck, and let's be honest, they are very cute animals. But don't be fooled by their goofy expression and quirky ears and horns. Giraffes are extremely dangerous animals and can be quite aggressive at times. If you ask a local which is the animal that you fear most in the savanna, many of them will tell you without a shadow of a doubt, the giraffe. Now, of course, they're not predators, so they don't have all the things we tend to link to power and strength, but it would also be a very big mistake to underestimate the mighty giraffe. They have superb eyesight and also hearing, and these superhero senses are mounted on the tallest watchtower in the animal kingdom. And seeing how long their legs are, it shouldn't come as a surprise that giraffes are actually very fast runners. They don't have big canine teeth or deadly claws, but they can headbutt a lion in the most aggressive way, and that can kill anything. They're quite ruthless, too. They've been known to attack people without any reason whatsoever. So imagine what they would do to a lion that's trying to attack them. Number 18. Crocodile Crocs are known for being perfectly designed killing machines, and even though we say the lion is the king of the jungle, or rather the savanna, which is where they actually live, crocodiles are very skilled natural predators, and they should never be underestimated. I mean, if a predator hasn't had to undergo any physical changes since the time of the dinosaurs in order to survive, you can imagine they are virtually perfect, and therefore a force to be reckoned with. What happens when a lion meets a fully grown crocodile, the apex predator of the Nile River and many other parts of the world? Well, the lion doesn't have the cards on his side, and here's why. For starters, lions are big, sure, but they are not croc big. An adult lion can weigh over 5,000 pounds and stand 4 feet tall. They're usually not more than 8 feet long. The largest adult lion ever caught in the wild weighed in at 675 pounds, whereas a wild crocodile can weigh well over 2,000 pounds and grow over 20 feet in length. From a simple size point of view, it's easy to see the huge advantage the croc has. Oh, and there's also the fact that aquatic crocs rarely venture out of the water. So that would give them an advantage, seeing as lions can't swim very well, and they do have to approach the water from time to time to take a drink. Number 17. 
Rhino. Lions are powerful, we all know that, but if you've ever seen a rhino up close, in the zoo for instance, you know that these beasts are not an easy prey at all. For starters, they are absolutely massive, as in both huge and dense. They look like a sturdy rock statue, and even though they look very heavy, which they are, they are surprisingly fast runners and agile, which makes them quite hard to catch. But let's say a lion manages to keep up with a rhino, what happens then? Well, you see the big horns on the middle of their head? Yeah, those are not for decorative purposes. They do use them, and considering how insanely muscled these creatures are, a rhino horn attack is no joke at all. All of these reasons mean that a lion will only go for a rhino if the rhino is seriously injured already, or for a very young calf that's alone and unprotected by the mother. If mom's in the area, the lions will not even think about trying anything. That's how dangerous rhinos really are. And the rhinos know this all too well. So much so that there have often been situations where a mother walks her calf towards a pride of lions for teaching purposes, knowing that her baby will be safe because she is there. Number 16. Porcupine It seems quite logical that a lion would automatically be the mighty predator and take down every other creature easily, especially an animal as small and cute as a porcupine. But what this little guy lacks in size, he makes up for in spikes. Literally. An adult African lion is about 10 times heavier than a crested porcupine, but this little fella's not having any of it. Lions know that porcupines are an option only as a last resort, because feeding on them is more minefield than cakewalk. Evidently, the main danger are the quills. If a lion attacks a porcupine, the quills can literally pierce the lion's face, mouth, or paws through and through. And having such a serious injury in the wild is pretty much a death sentence, especially if it means they can't hunt anymore. In fact, it's so rare that a lion attacks a porcupine that scientists take this event as a sign that there are issues in the savannas ecosystem. It usually means that the lion's regular prey, such as wildebeests, zebras, and other ungulates, are either being poached, the species is diseased, or that the drought is killing too many animals. Number 15. Hyenas Hyenas have a bad rep, but they are fascinating and powerful creatures. For starters, they can pretty much successfully hunt almost any prey species they encounter, from the cute and easy little rabbits, to the insanely fast and agile gazelles, to the 800-kilogram buffaloes and elands. Hyenas can take down pretty much any animal they lay eyes on, but this also means that their diet overlaps with that of lions, and that can cause a lot of animosity between the two species, and understandably so. Lions steal much more kills from hyenas than vice versa, and hyenas hunt most most of their prey themselves. This means that hyenas are better hunters, but lions are better at stealing. This is mainly due to the size difference. Lions are quite strikingly much bigger than hyenas, but the story doesn't end there. While lions will almost every time dominate or take over the kill, no matter how many hyenas are recruited, the hyenas then may harass the lions to the point that they abandon the kill, or at least distract them so that they can take scraps of meat and bones. Usually, hyenas can't do much of anything against male lions, but they can put up a decent fight against lionesses. And they often do. Seeing that the the lions have a habit of preying on hyena cubs, these two species just don't like each other. Number 14. Buffalo Cape buffaloes are, simply put, huge. So due to their sheer size and strength, a cape buffalo would take out a lion almost every single time, if it's a one-on-one. -on -one. However, if a pride of lions is targeting a single, isolated buffalo, then it's a very different story. Also, a single lion can also, with some difficulty, still take down a calf or an injured adult buffalo. In this case, there isn't always a clear winner. Both the cape buffalo and the lion will take out the other in different conditions. 
conditions. It comes down to the numbers. If the buffalo is alone and the pride of lions utilizes the strength of the group, then the buffalo stands no chance. But if the buffalo gets a chance to fight a solitary lion, the lion doesn't stand a chance. In addition to the advantage the Cape buffalo gets from its insane size, it can also surprisingly outrun a lion over a long distance. The lion is a better sprinter, like most predators, and the buffalo is a better endurance runner. Another thing that makes buffaloes hard to prey on is precisely how hard their ribs are. They have extremely thick and dense ribs that work almost like armor to protect the vital organs, and the lion can hardly sink its claws or sharp teeth in. Number 13. Hippo Ah yes, the animal outlaw. The hippo is a lot more dangerous than people tend to think. With its massive weight, large mouth, insanely powerful jaws, and robust canine teeth, the hippo is extremely deadly. In fact, a hippo can easily sweep the Lion King from his throne. For starters, the hippo is the third largest mammal on land. It can reach a size up to 2,866 to 3,307 pounds, or 1,300 to 1,500 kilograms. That makes them roughly 8 to 10 times the size of a lion. Yeah, it's fair to say they're pretty big. And don't be fooled by their stocky and bulky appearance, hippos are known to move pretty fast. In fact, they can run up to 30 miles or 48 kilometers per hour, which is quite impressive. Despite being herbivores, hippos are extremely aggressive, even towards humans, and they have the strongest jaws among all herbivores. They can also open their mouth 180 degrees. They have a very thick skin, literally, of 2 to 3 inches or 5 to 7.6 centimeters, which is excellent protection against predators predators such as lions, if they dare attack a hippo, that is, which doesn't happen very often. Number 12. Elephant here are two of the most iconic animals from the plains of Africa, the lion and the elephant. The lion is almighty. One would be foolish to go against a lion without a pretty good plan of defense. But the elephant is, in one word, colossal. An African elephant can weigh up to 12,000 pounds, stand 12 feet tall at the shoulder, and grow 21 feet in length. These are not creatures to mess around with. They are not aggressive by nature, quite the contrary. But if they feel threatened, they will not hesitate to take action, and they will do whatever is necessary to protect the herd. And an angry elephant is not a pretty sight. Their massive ivory tusks can easily impale enemies, killing them instantly. They have a devastating stomp. Imagine 12,000 pounds of weight on top of a lion's head. They are highly intelligent animals, and they know how to tip over an attack to then go for the vulnerable belly. Elephants also have great hearing. With the size of their ears, this is kind of expected, and a superior sense of hearing, which means that surprising an elephant is virtually impossible. To top it all off, their skin is incredibly thick, which makes it really hard for a lion to pierce it with its claws or sharp teeth. Number 11. Black Mamba the black mamba is the most feared snake in the world, mainly for its lethal venom. It's also quite a large snake. In fact, it is the second longest venomous snake after the king cobra. A mature black mamba can generally go well beyond 2 to 3 meters. Only two little drops of its venom can take down an adult person, and a black mamba can carry as much as 20 drops in its fangs at any given moment ready for delivery. You can imagine the damage that can do to a lion. The venom contains both cardiotoxins and neurotoxins, both of which are incredibly deadly. After bitten, both the nervous system and the heart are affected at the same time due to the complex nature of the venom. A bite from this snake can even take down a grown elephant in a matter of hours. Given the extremely lethal quality of the venom, a black mamba can easily kill two big cats in one go if it manages to give at least 10 drops of venom to each cat. And lions are very aware of this fact. That's why they don't prey on this snake, as it's really not worth the trouble. Number 10. Tiger Although in nature these two cats would never meet because they simply don't live on the same continent, we could theorize about who would win in a battle for life. In fact, this is one of the most hotly debated topics on the internet. Tigers are the largest of all big cats, and they are known as perfect killing machines. They are powerful, agile, and cunning. Now, of course, lions are also fearsome warriors and are never to be underestimated. Lions live in prides, which means they usually defend themselves and attack as a group 
group, whereas tigers are solitary animals and can fend for themselves alone. But a tiger usually retreats if it doesn't achieve its purpose in the very early stages of a confrontation. On the other hand, a lion commits to an attack and is generally far more determined and harder to shake off. But in the wild, lions are a lot less active than tigers, who are always on the move. They're also a lot more agile than lions. All of this would give the tiger a clear victory, or at least a tie. Number 9. Honey Badgers At first glance, a fight between the magnificent lion and the little honey badger might seem like an unfair fight. However, these two creatures both share a range in the African savanna, one that brings them into contact with one another quite often, and the aftermath of their meetings is not what you might think. Despite how impossible it may seem for this distant relative of the weasel to win against the king of the jungle, honey badgers are much fiercer and more bloodthirsty than they look. They are also equipped with powerful teeth, claws, and a very thick skin that's quite hard to penetrate. Honey badgers are amongst the most aggressive and violent animals in the world. What they lack in size, they make up for in sheer viciousness. And they are nothing if not determined. Once they have it in their head to win a confrontation, they will not let go for anything in the world. To underestimate the honey badger would be a very grave mistake. They may not be an apex predator, but most animals in Africa, including lions, seem to avoid these furry mammals. There must be a good reason for it, right? Number 8. Komodo Dragon now, this epic battle could never occur in real life, as Komodo dragons only live on the Komodo Islands and there are no lions there. But let's theorize, shall we? For starters, Komodo dragons are no joke. They are the apex predator in their natural habitat with no natural predator of their own. Even people know to stay well away from them, and there have been many instances of attacks on humans that turned deadly for the humans. Komodo dragons are pretty massive creatures, and by all means, they are dangerous. They have 60 razor-sharp teeth up to 1 inch long or 2.5 centimeters, and as soon as they lose a tooth, it immediately gets replaced by a brand new, even sharper one. This impressive permanent dentition allows them to tear off large chunks of flesh from their prey, which they then swallow whole. Oh, and did I mention the insanely sharp claws? This is their main weapon of destruction. They use it to attack prey, humans, and other Komodo dragons that get too close. So even if it's impossible to know who would win in an epic battle between a Komodo dragon and a lion, the lizard would certainly put up a very decent fight. Number 7. African Rock Python now, lions are very powerful predators, there's no doubt about that, but even a mighty lion knows to stay away from a huge, terrifying snake. Especially if it's a lion cub and it still doesn't know how to properly attack or defend itself. And this adorable little cub is about to learn a very valuable life lesson. Don't bite off more than you can chew. When the young lion spotted a large rock python slither nearby, curiosity got the best of it and it decided to investigate. You'll soon see why that was a terrible, just horrible idea. Pythons are constrictor snakes, which means they are not venomous. Instead, they use the sheer strength of their muscles to overpower their prey and then they kill by strangulation. Basically, once they grip their prey, they then wrap up their massive bodies around the unlucky animal, delivering so much pressure that it cuts the air supply and eventually the heart stops. A python's jaws are flexible, allowing them to swallow large animals whole. They can grow to more than 20 feet long, but whatever their size, pythons are quite dangerous and powerful animals, even though they don't have legs. Number 6. Gorilla our distant cousin, the gorilla, is a mighty creature of fearsome strength, but then so is the lion. So who would win the epic battle between these two magnificent animals? Of course, this would never happen in real life, as they both live in very different parts of the African continent, but we can always speculate. They are two of nature's most iconic animals, the silverback gorilla and the male African lion. This tough pairing doesn't have a clear outcome. Whereas the lion is a predator and is a specialist in ambush attack, the silverback 
jack is one of the world's strongest animals, and they have opposable thumbs, which is a massive advantage as they can grab things to throw at the lion or simply grab the lion itself. Gorillas are a massive contender. Literally, they are the size of a full-grown man with a passion for weightlifting. They range between 5.5 and, and 6 feet tall and can weigh up to a staggering 500 pounds of pure muscle. Their heads are elongated, a design intended to support the massive and insanely strong jaw muscles and teeth of these beasts. They are, on average, about 4 to 9 times stronger than a man. They can lift up to 1,800 pounds and successfully throw with about 990 pounds of force. And when it comes to intelligence, arguably the gorilla takes the cake. They are primates like us, after all. We can't say for sure that our distant cousin would win this fight, but it seems pretty obvious that he would. Number 5. Mosquitoes What? How on earth can a mosquito beat the mighty lion? No way. If that's the first thing that popped into your head, you are not alone. But don't be fooled by their tiny little size or their blatant lack of strength and claws or sharp teeth. When you think of the pesky mosquito that won't let you sleep at night, you have to think of it as a hypodermic needle with wings and potentially carrying all kinds of deadly diseases. They don't sound so harmless now, do they? In fact, mosquitoes are the deadliest animals on Earth, and by a lot. This annoying, long-legged insect can carry horrific diseases such as malaria, dengue, West Nile fever, yellow fever, Zika, chikungunya, and lymphatic filariasis, which is one of the world's leading causes of disability. Almost one million people die each year from mosquito-borne diseases, and just as they can transmit lethal viruses to us, they can also do so with any other animal they bite. It's an enemy that's very hard to fight as you can barely see them coming, and you only notice that you've been bitten when it's too late. Most of the diseases they transmit don't have a cure. In many places in this world, sadly, a mosquito bite is a death sentence. Number 4. Lionesses we tend to think that in the realm of mammals, the males are stronger than the females, which in most cases is true. But that doesn't mean that when the females get angry, they shouldn't be considered a huge threat. Imagine if a lioness attacked you. Would you dismiss it because she's a female? Yeah, I didn't think so. And this unlucky lion is about to learn that lesson all too well. In this heart-stopping footage from the West Midland Safari Park, we can see a pride of lionesses attacking a male lion in a bid to kill him. The powerful lioness are mercilessly attacking the male, pouncing on him and sinking their teeth into his body. It's nine against one, and you can clearly see that there isn't much the lion can do at this point. He already has bloody cuts and marks all over him, but the lionesses keep going at him in their brutal attack. In the wild, this is not an uncommon sight. Females have been known to kill an elderly male if they think him unfit to protect and rule the pride. Sometimes they'll kill the male over food or because he tried it on with one of the females and she didn't like it. You can clearly see the utter fear in the male's eyes. Without human intervention, he would have died for sure. Whatever he did to anger the females, it was not a good idea at all. Number 3. Bull who would win in a fight, a lion or a bull? Well, assuming they are both at their optimum physical power, the bull has the huge advantage of being, well, huge. He would be three times the lion's weight, and let's not forget how insanely aggressive bulls are. They can also kill the lion whether he comes at him from the front, the back, or even from below. In a one-on-one -on -one duel, the lion will most likely come out as the victor, but both can defeat the other depending on any given circumstance. A bull can easily overpower a lion with the use of its sheer size and strength strength. However, lions are incredibly skilled predators, and they literally do this every day. On the other hand, bulls have a lot more stamina. Lions have to rest between 15 to 18 hours a day. So one has size and energy on its side, and the other has the experience. Who do you think would win? Number 2. Dog Let's face it, if your beloved dog gets attacked by a lion, there's little chance that the lion won't win. Your dog can't beat a lion. That much is pretty obvious. However, there are certain dog breeds that can fight one, even though they probably won't kill the lion. <laughs> 
Take the Dogo Argentino, for instance. These dogs were bred to attack and kill jaguars, which is also a wild big cat. Although lions are much larger. A lion can weigh up to 500 pounds and grow up to 8 feet long, but jaguars only weigh a maximum of 300 pounds and grow a little over 5 feet long. A Rottweiler also stands a chance. They are very loyal and, evidently, powerful. But the clear contestant would be the Dog Wolf, as they are still part wolf and therefore have much larger canine teeth than most larger dog breeds. Their wild side is also a factor, as they will fight for life and not get scared. The more wolf this dog breed has in its blood, the bigger an adversary it would be for a lion. So unless it's a highly trained dog or half wolf, your pooch sadly does not stand a chance against a lion. Number 1. Warthog Warthogs and lions cohabitate in the same system, so they do meet in the wild on the daily. When confronted with a lion, a warthog's best defense is to dash off at full speed. And they can run pretty fast. At 48 kilometers per hour, these little beasts can run as fast as a small horse. This allows them to outrun most predators and escape with their lives. Alas, seeing as a lion can accelerate to almost 60 kilometers an hour, most of the time the lion does catch the warthog, especially the piglets. When it comes to a fully grown male warthog, he will put up a decent fight. They are full of energy, are equipped with dangerous tusks, and they will not be scared to attack a lion. Adult Adult warthogs are not an easy prey. They can't kill a lion, but they can injure it enough so it'll die later. That's why lions don't usually attack warthogs, unless they're starving and there's nothing else to prey on. As you can see, lions are extremely powerful animals, but like every other living thing on this planet, they are not invincible. There are many animals that don't fear lions, and even among their prey, some of them are dangerous business. What animal that isn't on this list do you think could beat a lion? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!